Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this week's video we're going to be looking at Slider Revolution 5 and specifically we're going to be taking a look at how we can do something that was asked recently of me by a client. Now I was working on their website and one of the things they wanted was they wanted the home page to have a different image each time it loaded but they still wanted to have the ability to have a slideshow. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a couple of different JavaScript code snippets to change the way your slides actually work and display Okay, so I'm in Slider Revolution 5 now, and I've already created my slider with four basic slides. So the next thing we need to do is find a way of randomizing the order of these slides. Now to do that, we're just going to jump back over to the slider settings. We're going to scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and you can see we now have two custom areas that we can work with with Slider Revolution, and specifically just the slide that we currently have open. So you can see we can create some custom style sheet, and we can also create some custom JavaScript. Now what we're going to do with this first example is we're going to keep it really, really simple and we're just going to use this to randomize the first slide. Now we'll maintain the order of the remaining slides, so only the first slide will be a random slide. That's a simple little bit of JavaScript code and I'll give you a link in the description below where you can go and grab that code and use it for yourself so you don't have to type it in, you can just simply copy and paste. So what I'm going to do is come down to the custom JavaScript area paste in my information and you can see it's a pretty simple thing and if you understand JavaScript I'm sure you'll get your head around this straight away without a problem but like I say this is just there to randomize the very very first slide and then just maintain the original order for the remaining slides so let's just save that and let's just jump back over to our test and we'll just refresh this as you can see, that gives us that slide. Now, one of the things you need to be aware of is that it's random by its nature. So you will find that there's going to be times where you'll have duplicates of the same slide will show up because it's randomized on the slides available. So let's refresh it. As you can see, a different starting slide. Again, different starting slide. Different starting slide. But then what's going to happen is once you go to the next one, it'll maintain the order of the slides that come after it. So whatever is the random slide, it'll then maintain the order or the original order after that. Now the next option is a little bit more complicated. And what this does is this randomizes the slider starting point. So if we just select that and just drop the code in there, you can see there's more information going on in this. So this is going to have more control over what's going on. Now just to clarify exactly what's happening with this, this is going to randomize the slider starting point and then every other slide afterwards will be what would come after that first random point. So in other words, if the second slide is the random slide, then the third slide and the fourth slide and so on will come after it. If the third one was the first randomized one, then the fourth, then the first. kind of hope that makes sense. Whereas the first one just randomizes the first one and then goes back into the standard order so in other words if it was the fourth one to start off it would still be one two three four straight afterwards so there's the difference and as you can see again just a bit of code in there simple javascript code that's going to randomize that randomize the starting point so that's all there is to it so now let's just refresh that just save that out jump back over and let's just refresh the page And now we get, no matter what slide is the first starting slide, when we click to the next one, it's going to go to the next consecutive slide in the order. So if I randomize this, you jump over to the next one, you can see we've got the mountains, and the very first slide is the sea. So let's just refresh that to get a different starting point. So you can see there's the mountains, so the next one should be the sea. And there we go. So that's two ways of randomizing your slides. You can either randomize just the first slide and maintain the original order, or you can randomize the starting point. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And if you're considering purchasing any of the plugins and the themes that we use throughout these video tutorials, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It helps give a couple of pennies back to the channel and help us create more content for you. Anyway, until next time, take care.